Hey everybody, it's Carousel Creek Studios. Welcome back to the channel. Today is New Year's Eve, so I'm going to be doing my annual collection tour for end of the year. Um, let's just jump right into it. Um, if you guys hear any noises, my dog is in here. Um, but yeah, let's just jump right into it. Um, right here, I have this bin. I'm not going to really go through it. I just have like props and pouches and dolls and stuff like that in there. Um, under there, I just have this base and then my notebook for filming stuff. I just want to show you guys that. So that's what that clutter is. Boxes as well. Um, let's start off with my stable mates. I'm obviously not going to say every single one. That just take way too long. I'll just say congas or specific ones. Here I have my Cantering Warm Blood conga, my Frisian Stallion conga, and that's a custom by me. And he always, like, I'm always like, I didn't know I customized a uh, Frisian, but he's not. Obviously, you can see, obviously, he's just a, I don't remember the name, old name. Um, and then here I have the Briar Fest uh, Celebration Model Stablemates. Um, and then also I have the Stablemates Collectors Club. Don't remember his name. That one right there who's very pretty. Mini Oliver who is super cute. And then here I have Best of British Stablemates or something like that. Um, super cute series. I love this mare right here. She's so cute. Yeah, there. She is so pretty. And then here I have another collector's club, stable mates club model, I mean, and then a decorator. Now we're gonna go onto this top shelf up here. I'm on my bed, so it's a little shaky, so I apologize. Here I have the Briar Cougar. Um, here I also have Smart Chickalina Conga. I have, uh, what did I name him? Oh yeah, Arizona Sunrise with his rosette. Smart. Sorry, big check to cash. So I'm rambling. I'm trying to talk so fast because I have so much to do today. Then here I have Syria Blanco. Garrett, the tractor supply exclusive from a few years ago. Um, Smart Chicolina. And I always call all of these horses Smart Chicolina. I'm like, this is Smart Chicolina. And I'm like, no, sorry. It's And then when it comes down to him, I always forget his name. But this time, this time I remembered. Um, and then here I have Quill from this year's Briarfest who is in a like heavy gloss, very pretty. And I have Darjeeling, just gonna step down onto the ground. Um, and then I have my cigar conga. I have Entree, um, London Fog, a custom by me, and then Cigar. I believe that's just the original, just regular cigar. I don't know if he's a different model or not, but he's gonna be a custom because he is a body. Then I have Jasper, another collector, or sorry, uh, tractor supply model from last year. And my Forever Sage mold conga, I mean. Um, I have uh, Moondance, Bisbee, Wynn, and then right here is my one and only Ethereal, unfortunately. I really want to conga the mold, and I, it's like my holy grail to get all of the Ethereal series, like the Wind, Fire, Water, and Earth. On to my Warm Bloods. Um, my con or sorry, my collection is ordered... Blah, blah, I cannot speak. My collection is organized by congas and breeds. So like I have my Warm Bloods, and then I have my stock, and then I have my draft thoroughbreds, stuff like that. Except, honestly, this is my only shelf that's not organized like that. It's just organized by congas. Um, and then here we have Cedric, who is absolutely beautiful. Just got him in a trade. I'll be posting a video on that um, in the next following week, probably in the new year. Then we have my pride and joy, Bristol. Um, and then here we have a Peterstone thoroughbred. Um, awesome Alec is his um, given name, and I just got to rename him. I don't know what yet. Here we have Zenyatta and Cosmic One. My only um, Lonesome Glory as well, unfortunately. Really want to get more. Love the mold. Here we have Malachi, a custom by me. And then here we have uh, Catch Me, who I renamed um, Lilac Skies. Very, very gorgeous horse. I love the horse in real life as well. And he's just sporting a bridle I made. It's my, um, it's a LSQ bridle that is in the works um, to go with my saddle. And then here I have Vanilla Bean and uh, what's, Athena. Here we go. Another custom by me on the Giselle mold. And then this is Celtic Selenero who's just leaning up against a book because his stand broke. And then I have my one and only Bouncer as well. Um, and Icicle and Liberty. They're just kind of there because they don't really fit anywhere else. He is so tall. And then I don't have like any other ponies to go with Bouncer. So... Yeah, he's just there. On to my drafts. Here I have um, Wixom, my Wixom Conga. It's only two, so it's not really a Conga. Um, Autumn Shimmer, who has a buttload of man cards, and one second place that I've showed when I've showed her 
she got a second place and then all of these just came with her when I bought her. Um, and I got her for a really good deal too for being like LSQ, top LSQ. Um, and then here I have uh, Versilius, Versailles, however you want to pronounce it. Um, she has a sixth place, got her from Briar Trot um, in a trade. And she like does not stand the greatest to be honest. Like she is on a coaster right now and that's the only way she'll stand. And it's like a really pretty tall coaster, you know? Um, and then here I have my one and only Peterstone draft. I really want to get a bunny sometime in the future. Do a custom on a bunny, a dappled gray. Oh, so heavenly. And then here I have also uh, my only medallion. I want to say this is sculpted by Maggie Bennett, um, but I'm not too sure. Can't wait to paint him. Um, she does not have a name. I got to rename her something. Um, I got her from a girl on Instagram and she named her Mocha probably gonna change that it's a very cute name but I think I'm gonna go on something with uh, Star Wars or something like that and then here I have uh, Oliver My, he's very happy that I got him signed by his owner and then here I have Pepper and she's very pretty wasn't gonna get her at first I was gonna get Rocket but he was sold out and so I got her instead and I'm actually quite impressed with her. Very pretty. She does not look like lasagna in my opinion, burnt lasagna. Here I have my also my one and only Othello Fall, um, who's gonna be a repaint because he is a very poor repainted, or not repainted, touched up job by me. He was my first try. And as you can see, it's like pretty awful. So he definitely needs to be repainted. Um, and then I have Simba, who's just wearing a little necklace I made. And then here I have, uh, they do not have names, um, but this is just my American Saddlebred and Full. Um, and then here I have the Duke of Lexington, who is very, very pretty. Got him from uh, Equilocity this year. And I also have his COA, Certificate of Authenticity, whatever you want to call it. And then here I have a custom Schleich. Sorry, he's going the other way. And then a custom stablemate who I got in a trade on Instagram. Um, I got Cedric, another model you'll see in a second. And then she just gave me that horse for free. Super cute custom. Not sure who it's by. If it was by her or someone else. Then I just have some mini winnies and a stirrup ornament. Going on down, we have my weather girl conga. I have Vahana, custom by me. Um, Natasha and then I am so excited to show you guys I got partly cloudy I don't know if you guys knew this or not but she has been my grail like holiest grail since I've started collecting um, all the horses uh, in like 2010 so almost 10 years actually no it's like 2011 so <clears throat> almost 10 years um, I've wanted her and I finally got her um, no sorry I didn't want her in 2011. I wanted her in like 2014 when I first saw her. But yeah, she was like the first um, grail I saw and wanted. Um, and then here I have Empress who I got from my sister this year. Very beautiful. My Christmas haul will be up today as well. So definitely go check that out. Sorry, somebody called my name. And then right here I have Tesoro de Oro. who is beautiful. Love his high gloss on that gold shimmery buckskin color. And then I have um, Dominante, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, who is very pretty, but I might be repainting him because he's got some flaws. I dropped him. Um, and then here I have the Christmas horse from last year, um, or yes, uh, 2018. Um, very pretty, love her silver detailing. And I got a very nice model. She is LSQ with the tack off. I have seen a lot of models with that. May not speak with dots right there, and she doesn't have any of those, so it's really nice. Um, then I have my Nakota Conga, I have Toro, uh, Chevio, however you want to pronounce it, and Nakota, and they will all be renamed. Um, he might be a custom in the future once I get, I want to get another one because he has very, very bad mapping, so probably going to repaint him in the future. And here I have my uh, stock horses, and then also just this horse because I don't know where else to put them. Um, here I have Rock, uh, sorry, Diane, Diana, sorry, um, Diana, and then just another stablemate. Don't know why that's there. And then I have my Oak Peterstone, uh, who I renamed Bravo or Center of Attention, um, and just this random other Peterstone, 
who I named Aztec. He was my first Peter Stone, so I really want to customize him, but I'm going back and forth between customizing him or not since he was my first. Um, and then here I have uh, uh, Kennebec Count, who I renamed Remy because he looks just like my old horse Remy. Random piece of clay. And then here I have Rushmore, Hal from this year, who I renamed Major or Major League. And then I have uh, another tractor supply model from last year, I want to say. And then here I have um, Dead Heat, the chestnut variation. And then I have just a random Marabella mare who will be in my series. On to the bottom shelf, here I have um, just a random foal, Appaloosa scratching foal. And then I have a custom Sarge that I did. Sarge is my real horse if you didn't know that. Um, he is not the greatest paint job because it was a while ago, um, but he's still very cute and just going to stay in my collection because he's just Sarge. And I mean, it's not a bad paint job at all. It's just one of my earlier paint jobs. So yeah, but it's, it's still, he's still really cute. And then right here, this was my very first Briar. This is the Briar that started all of the madness. He actually came to Briar Fest with me, so he's very special to me. Even if I stop collecting, which I'm pretty sure will never happen, um, he will just stay with me forever. Um, it says Briarfest, that's a 19 on him just because he came to Briarfest with me. I believe I got this from Emper yeah, Empress's owner. And he has a blanket that Briar gave to me at the youth show. They were handing him out. Um, so yeah, he's just super special to me. I really love him. Um, he's uh, sorry, I keep calling him a boy. I'm pretty sure. No, it is a boy. Um, I kept used to call him a girl until I realized he was a boy. Yeah, he's a boy. Um, I named him Duchess when I thought he was a girl. And then here I have a custom a while ago that I did. Super pretty, but lots of flaws because she's been in lots of photo shoots and films that I never ended up doing anything with, but she's just got lots of scratches. Um, so I just used her for films. She'll be in my series. And then another Amber, um, who also will either be a custom or in a series, or both. And then I have just this huge Clydesdale Stallion, who is my signing model. And I totally forgot to bring him majority of the time, so he has <coughs> very few signatures. Um, he has, <coughs> sorry, Born Free Stables on Instagram, Serenity Briars, um, RR Zippo Queen, Briar Lover 90, one of my best friends on in the community and out of the community, Firefly Studios, and Briar Hijinks. And then just a poodle, and then a donkey who's wearing a little sombrero, and um, Dolly, a collectible. I'm not sure what if she's a certain run of something or what she's from. I just know she's a briar mule. Um, and then I have a bowl and then a big clinky and then a mini clinky who I also got for free in a trade. The girl gave me that custom, also gave me that horse for free and the custom for free as well. And then I have a deer with a broken leg and I still have the leg so I just need to fix it. This was my first full custom. Like five or six years ago, really long time. Um, super cute though. I've been, I was gonna sell her a while ago, but I decided to just, might as well just keep her. She was like, she made history for me. Low key forgot to film my outro, but thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. See y'all in the new year.